Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I like to show you that how to fix this car's exhaust pipe where this this flexible muffler in here in that part it has been damaged and in that front area we have in here also this oxygen sensor and it is in here and now I took that oxygen sensor away so that I unplug this cable, cable connector in here. Okay, and then when we look at that, that exhaust pipe, we can see that there is catalytic converter. And then when we look in forward, there is this almost final end. And there is one muffler that is actually still in there in position. And it is just in there. It is like I left that muffler in there. And there are two bolts in here. There is this joint where I took that that ex house manifold okay away. And there is this joint array. Okay, and now I am planning to fix that area in, in here. And let's look that closer. Okay, and I have in here. This is my old part and here is new part. And this is high quality new part and it is it is like a specific made by self part and it is made in in Europe and it is high quality part and it cost something like 30 US dollars or 30 euros this part and it's interesting to compare and this part cost like 30 US dollars, then this whole bigger part what starts in here and ends in here, it cost 120 US dollars. And there is this catalytic converter. And this this part, of course, it's interesting to know this is Nissan's 2 liter gasoline engines, this X house pipe. And and what I am planning to do, do next? I am planning to next cut this my old, cut, old this uh, exhaust pipe joint, this muffler. This is like flexible part. And then I am planning to weld this part in here. And 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 then I have also made in this ground. Look, I have made in here some markings. But I remember that what is this my exhaust pipe position? There are those paintings, and in here I am planning to install this my new exhaust pipe joint, and then I have also some extra parts. Okay, and then I purchase also these metallic pipes. What are in here? They are like joints in that area, and I can cut also this and this. Small exhaust pipe parts, they cost about 5 US dollars or euros per piece. And I am planning to weld and cut also those things. Okay, and so my budget in is so uh, in, in that situation. This, this muffler, what is in central, 30 US dollars. And then these parts like 5 US dollars per piece. 5, 10, 15, 20. It is like now 50 US dollars budget and when we compare that bigger one what was 120 I think that this this my fix sounds good and then I start to cut in this my this X house part using this my angle angle grinder and there is cutting disc and soon I will cut those things and then we continue. Okay and then I use my protective glasses and also hearing protection is important and then I also I need to do my markings in this old pipe And 
there is my black paint and then I will do in here those my cutting markings in here is my one cut and in here is the second okay cool and then, then I start to cut that thing and let's look at how it happens Okay, sounds good and then I continue and when I have cut that part we continue then. Okay, and next I am doing so that here is this my, my old pipe and this this was my this cut old pipe in here and I have made in here in this ground those paintings that I remember that in what, what position this old muffler that in what position it must be in here it is very important and then in here I have this upper part in that position and then I need in here this my, my new part this is like in that this one is the old part then I need to do so that when I insert these things in here, I am planning to weld first that part here in that way. This is my first task that I weld that in here. And after that, I will do so that I need this ex housed pipe, pipes and tubes. And I will. I have different shapes in these, in that side, and then in that side for the same, same shape in all. And I am planning to insert then this pipe in here, that way. Here and then I, I, I weld that part in here. A little bit cutting and. Okay, and then I start to weld that part in, in here. It is my next task. Okay, and now I am welding this part. And for that welding I need this kind of welding mask and this black special welders. This glass protect my eyes and I can also open that screen. Then I have in here this my MIG welding tool and next I will weld. And then I use also gloves. That, that got up. I need this big gloves because this welding is really hot. Okay, and it happens that that I need to add this welding welding wire because it is empty. But soon we continue. Okay, and now I have add this more this my welding wire and welding continues in that area. Okay, good. And this welding is actually really fun when we, but we me, but we must be in outside because this welding gas is 
they are really harmful and poison. They are like, like car, cars, exhaust gases. Okay, now this welding is ready in that part. And there is whole area has been weld. Good. And then I think that I will add to that next joint in here. In that joint. Okay, and soon I weld again and we continue. Okay, and now I am planning that that when there is this my new pipe and I have these markings in this ground, these black things in here, and that means that then my this this old exhaust pipe it must be in just in that position. Where and it was actually also in ground, and then when this part should be in that position, there is now hole. What I need to add, there is some kind of part in there between these holes. And we have possibility that we have different kinds of these pipes. Many, like this Walker, is one brand who produced those pipes, and they are like in. That area is more wider than that one. And then in here I have also one pipe what is totally striped. And now I will choose one of those pipes in there and then I use my this ruby, this angle grinder, this cutting disc, and I will cut a little bit that pipe away. And then I Weld that and then this project is ready. Okay, and then we continue. Okay, and then I am planning. I have found two these pipes, and this is like striked pipe, and then this is pipe that this part is like 50 millimeter, and this is like 52. And it is it means that this is like a connector, that this is smaller and this is bigger hole. And now I am planning that I will install that in this way. And when we do this text house pipe do itself joints, it is extremely important that we we insert these pipes in limit. That means that, that they are in like two two those pipes are together. Not no this kind of joints. This is bad joint if we do welding. But this is good when I little bit add that in here like half inches. This will be last and then I have that pipe what fits in here and it goes in there. It goes inside in that my muffler. Also something like half inches when we look. No no that kind of limits. This is bad. This is bad limit joint, but when this goes in inside, a little bit like in that way, half inches. This is good, and then welding in in here, and then it it lasts like like three to five years. It is quite okay. It is this is not Toyota parts quality because Toyota parts last like 15 to 20 years. But this last like self by made myself it is like five years and it is good. Okay, now this part goes in there inside like like half inches, like one centimeter. Excellent. And then I am planning to insert that that part in here. And then I am planning to connect these pipes together in that way. But this is it is the final final job. But before of that I will weld that and weld that also. Okay, and soon we continue and there is small ant running also. Small animal in here. Okay. My assistant. Okay and then I continue my job. Okay, and now I am planning in here that how, how I can connect these two parts together, like in that way. And I have a little bit modified. First I, first I press my 
pipe in here using that my my press and then I take my tongs and I a little bit wider this this areas that this is, is bigger and then I can connect this my another pipe in here in that way looks good and then then I take my big hammer and I hit that in down. Okay. It's it looks good. And then when we look in here we can see that this my pipe takes contact point in here down. And now I believe that there is this limit. We can see that there is limit in here. A limit means that they are two pipes are in in like together. There is two limits and then I will weld that thing back. But before of that I a little bit a little bit hammer. I insert my workbench in in that kind of position that there is this hammering base and I insert my the tool in there actually pipes and a little bit I I modify these things in here. In that way, this hammer is cool, cool stuff. And this is important. This is plain. This surface. And now they look quite. They are quite nicely together. Okay, my. My parts went away, but I will I will insert those in, in there. And now I use the hammer. I use hammer that side. Okay, good. Looks good. And then there is this my thing. And then I take my hammer. And, and now this part is ready for welding. And next, I I plan to weld that joint in here. And actually, I think that this is quite nice area to weld that. And I insert my welding things in here next. Okay. And now I am added this pipe in here, and it's it's there and. I I made so that I insert it in here and then I have hammer and I hammer that pipe through that Okay, good. And then let's go to look closer. There is now limit like this half inches. This is inside in here. And next I weld that thing in here and then after that I can connect this pipe in here. Okay, good. Good. And, and then, then I need to check this my markings in here ground. Like in here, there are these ground markings. I insert my thing in there. And then there is next markings in here. This my thing in that position, and now I take the pipe away. Okay, now it's away. I insert my pipe in this position, and that means that now I need in this that kind of connecting pipe. And next I need to little bit cut that pipe a little bit shorter that it fits perfectly in that that line. Okay. And good and let's check that how my markings are keeping. Here are those markings. And I this was good idea, this oxygen sensor marking. I remember that there it is in that position. Then when we check 
that pipe there was this thing and then I insert that pipe in here and I need to little bit cut that my pipe next and I will do that next okay and now I have made this final cut and then it's important to take knife and take all of these metallic joints in here away because these small things they can destroy this our catalytic converter in here what cost 1000 euros because this is original Nissan's catalytic converter then all stuff in here carefully away there can't be any moving no any metallic parts in here and then now when it's clean I also cleaned that outer area and this is now it now I should manage to install this this part in here in that connector okay and it seems that it is too tight okay now it is moving and, and that means that I need to little bit little bit grind and sand that outer area that this my part goes in there inside and then this part it goes quite nicely in there and quite soon I can weld I can weld these things together but next I take a little bit here this metallic away in my angle grinder and we continue soon okay and now I am doing this little bit thinner and there is my angle grinder this area becomes smaller I rotate that. I rotate that. And this part also in here. something okay and now this looks good and then let's go to check that how this fits in here okay and here is this my part where I made this little bit smaller and thinner and then I think that this part should fit in here okay now it fits in here and then that part that part should fit in here that way Good. It is good, and then I do so that I I hammer, I hammer that little bit that part that part in here. Now it goes deeper in there. Good, and then then I insert that my things. I have this my markings in this round and also in there and in there and then I insert my things in here back carefully and I use this like support now they are fine they must be in same position as as they was in in this my car it is really important same position and same and then that part is in here and then I need to connect these two parts together like in this way excellent it, it, 
it went in there very nicely. Now it looks excellent. And then I have final part left that I need to weld these parts together. I need to do welding in here and in here and then this job is ready. And then, then this is here and in that way. And then this part is here. Excellent. They are very well. Let's look in upper. There is this next house pipe in there. And when we look, this my markings. They are nice in there. And there is this joint. And oxygen sensor is there. Actually in there. And then there is this exhaust pipe what becomes to exhaust manifold. Excellent. And then I have final job to weld these two lines in here. And next I will do that. I insert this more. It's my welding, welding thing in here. Okay, here. Then, then I need some press. But I press this thing down, down here. And also in here. Now they are in welding position. Then I take my mask, welding mask, and then, then welding starts. My spelling is really accurate that I must do solid joint in all areas and this takes something t like time 10 minutes and then I weld also that area and but now I think that I can do in here also small joint Now there is also a small joint and then I work in here something like 10 to 20 minutes and then we continue. Okay, <coughs> okay, here, here I am welding this part and a little bit move that part in position and then I can weld more. continues and soon I am ready. Okay and now this my my welding is in there in position and let's look it is in here and next I start the engine and then we check that how this my joint works in here and there is oil sump and there is this is my new pipe in there. Okay, and this work is almost ready. Okay, good. And let's... There is this engine, exhaust pipe starts in here. Exhaust manifold, oxygen sensor, my new joint. Then there is catalytic converter and I, I made in here a little bit welding because there was leak. And then we go in here down. Sorry, this rear area. There is this final end muffler. It's it's just in here. 
okay and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you